So, uh, like to interface that LED to the port zero tenth pin. Also, they are asking asymmetric asymmetric square wave. So, symmetric when we uh, we say symmetric square wave when like on period and off period is same, right? When on time is like for example every one second if someone ask you to blink the led it will be one second high on one second off here they are saying asymmetric but they haven't mentioned the duty circle so on period maybe like if i keep uh, one second off period i will keep two second i mean vice versa also is true. so here it has to be asymmetric but they haven't mentioned what should be the uh, the time duration so we have the flexibility for that so can you tell me the steps what is the first line of the code? So the first line of the code is to check the frequency. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, we have to uh, add the include file LPC two one X two one four eight or any uh, basically all the series with two one four. Like all the details will be containing in this uh, header file. Then we have to start. in main void. So if it is going to return anything, we have to do it in. So I mean, it can be void also. Our main function is not going to return anything. And here I'm creating a variable, which is unsigned. What do you mean by unsigned? Unsigned int x. So it can go only positive value. So unsigned int will have only positive value. You are not dealing with negative value. Yes. And uh, which register of LPC two one four eight sets the direction? So the DIR. Yes, IDIR, right? And they have yes. asked for the port zero to ten pin. So I want to set port zero direction where I have to use IDIR zero. And if I want to make it output, then it has to be yep, right? Yep. That is like it has to be high. So all the 32 bit, I, I for the time being, like let me make all the bits as like output, all the pins as output. So then I'll write 0x ff ff and ff ff. So it will set all the pins of uh, uh, LPC 2148 as output. Okay. Then uh, yesterday we discussed if I want to make an infinite loop, how do I make an infinite loop? So by adding the loop. for semicolon, semicolon. Yes, without any condition. So or yeah, so. you have another option. You can also mention while one. So if you mention the while one also, right? In the sense here, it is always true. While condition, how it executes. Until that condition becomes false, then it will be the uh, loop will be broken. But if I make while one, always this condition will be true. So it will be continuously running. Right? Yes, sir. Next, actually, I want to make tenth pin high or low, right? Tenth pin I want to make high or low. So here. We, uh, the tricks what we had studied uh, in the initial ARM sessions, right? That will come into picture. So, uh, like tenth pin, I want to make it high, right? So, which register basically? Uh, if I want to set any pin to high, which register I have to use? I set, right? I set and port yes. zero. I set zero. And can you tell me what? This function does one left shift by ten. What it does? So it so goes initially... to the left. Sorry. Right. If initially it is one, then if I make it like left shift by one, binary wise, one followed by nine zeros, right? The tenth bit will become high. Right? So what I do here, I make I set zero 
tenth bit to i. Okay. Then I have to call some delay. Some delay they haven't mentioned like how long it has to be on. So three thousand thirty thousand delay. Then followed by if I want to clear now, I mean it is on now. Now LED is on. So uh, to the tenth pin I have connected one LED. So that is on now. So if I want to switch it off LED, which register I have to use? I clear. So the right? zero I, I clear yes. I O clear actually. I O clear. I O clear zero. So that is actually again tenth bit I am clear. Then again, I need to call some delay. That is forty thousand because asymmetric, more off time and less on time. That's what we desire, right? This is how we interface the LED. Clear? Yes, sir. So these codes will be asked in test rate. Right? Ah, they won't be asking uh, this straightforward question. They might ask like uh, with some interfaces, like with the button plus LED plus some motors. In that way, they will combine two three programs and then. Okay. So next question, they have asked like interface the LED and push button. Okay, so you will have one button, push button, also one LED which is interface to your LPC to one for it. So the they haven't mentioned the, which pin of the LPC to one for it. Uh, show you the schematic how it should look like. If you see here, to the 14th pin, we have connected one switch. And to the 31st pin, we have connected LED. So if you see the configuration, right? Like LED other end is connected always to 3.3 volt. So now if I want to switch on this LED, right? I want to make this 0 0.31 to ground then my LED will be glowing. If I make it high, that is 3.3, the voltage difference between this LED will be zero, right? Zero. So LED will not blink. So here, if you want to turn on the LED, what you have to do? You have to make this pin to zero. If you make this pin to zero, so you can see LED connected as common anode condition. So if you make one, LED will be off. If you make zero, LED will be on. And here, you can see, by default, this P0.14 will be high. It is VCC. So as soon as you press this button, so this pin will connect it, will be connected to ground, right? So you will see the zero. So in the program, whenever you see P0.14 as zero, that is grounded, then you have to switch on the LED. Hope you got the idea. If you like, if yes, you are not sir. clear, you can let me know. So now I got ideas. Okay. So now so LPC two one for it, we have to include the header file. So actually I have to set 31st pin as 
input right 30 first pin as input so in main which uh, which port i have to use what what register i have to use to set 30 first pin as uh, uh, in output so pin select in IO direction, right? IO direction. Yes, yeah, sir. So. IO direction. So then, what is pin selection yeah. used for? Pin set, right? No, there is no pin set. Pin selection that is for the multi bit. I mean, you will not uh, use pin selection. So, whenever you are using this pin as uh, UART pin, for instance, or SPI pin, then you have to use the pin select and use it. You are not using as an input or output. Special special pin. So pin select is used only for the special cable. Yes, you are you are one. If you are using as a just input output, then you will not call it for pin select. Okay, sir. So I am left shifting one by thirty one bits. So I am making I O direction as output that is the 31st pin i am making it as output so if i want to switch off the led then i have to set that to one right zero. if i set that no if i want to set so here, it is is ultra. here it is ultra actually i mean see if you see it's a common anode right if you make zero then led will be on if you make on i mean if you want to make it on right then you have to make it zero if you make it one, it will be off. So I was set direction. I was set zero, one left shift by 31. So here LED is off. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. So if I want to have infinite loop, what I have to do? For so for semicolon, semicolon. Yes. Other way how, how we can do while one, right? While one. Yes. So, if I want to read, read the status of this register, then I use IO pin. Okay, IO pin, right? IO pin zero. So IO pin zero, if IO pin zero, which bit I have to set? Check 14th bit, right? Yes, sir. So what I do, IO pin zero, ampersand, logical and one left shift by 14. Okay. If so, I'll explain you the condition. Uh, let me just put the condition. Right. So, actually, I have to switch on the LED whenever this IO pin 14, the PO dot 14 is 0, right? 0. I have to check whether that is 0 or not. So, for example, like let me consider that pin is high that is not zero okay when you make one left shifted by 14 that basically the i i mean it will be like wherever that 14th location that is i hope in 14th location is there there it will become high right when you make this condition right it will become one zero 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 so on up to 14 correct this bit will be high right in this because of this and yes sir. if the pin is not pressed then that uh, then actually in the IO pin 14 also you will see high, correct? And maybe other pin it may be high or low, that there also will be high. But this 14th bit will be high. Right? So when you and it and these two, right? If the pin is not set that you if you haven't pressed, then you will get 
same output because this is already set, right? So you will get again 1, 0, 0, 0, so on, right? But if the pin is pressed, this will become 0, right? This will become 0. Then when you add it, these two, when you add it, whole result will become 0. Only if you press this. So when you make not of 0, it means the pin is, uh, so not of 0 is 1. Here you can see there is a not symbol. Not of 0 is 1. So then this condition will be satisfied. This condition will be satisfied, right? Yes, sir. And so here what you have to do, you have to clear. I mean, in order to switch on the LED, what you have to do? You have to clear. I clear. I, I, I O C L R 0 equals to 1 left shift by 31. It means 31st bit I am making it. Okay. So if they asked something like as soon as you press it, then you keep LED always on, then you make this 31st bit as clear and stop it. Then the program is finished. But if they ask you to switch off after maybe one second, then what you have to do? You have to write one for loop for i equals to zero, i less than maybe some 40,000, i plus plus. After that delay, you have to switch off the LED. So in order to switch off the LED, IO set 0, 1, left shift 5. So after one second or uh, some delay, that LED is going to switch off. And again, when you press it, you will switch on the LED for some time, one second, then you will switch it off. So that kind of functionality will be. Clear? OK, sir. Yes, sir. Next example, write an embedded code to simulate traffic light. So if you see, like there are three LEDs, green, orange, red. So P0.0 is connected with green, P0.1 is connected with orange, P0.2 is connected with red. So you know, like green will be, so the sequence of traffic light will be, initially it will be green. After some delay, it will become orange. And after some delay, it will become red. And after some delay, Again, it will become orange and after some delay, it will become green, right? So this sequence you have to write, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. So I'll straightforward, uh, uh, I mean, like I'll just try, uh, try to paste that code and like I'll explain some direction because like since we have already covered two examples, it is like, uh, I mean, switching on the LED is same here. But it is not active uh, anode. I mean, here when you make it high, then only LED will be on. It's the previous case. It was like uh, no. Here, three. okay. Here three point three, right? Here also active anode. So uh, here when you make it zero, then only LED will be on. Okay. So I'll paste that code here. So if you see here, IO direction zero, like we have made it as seven, that means one, one, one. So P zero dot zero, P zero dot one, P zero dot two. 
all the three pins i am making it as outputs correct yes sir yes then i said one let's shift by zero i mean i am not shifting anywhere just i am making it as one okay so here actually the traffic light is a driven condition it is like straight forward when you make it high it will be not active so when i make it i i'll make i set zero as one then green will be on for 30 seconds so that delay value right delay value is nothing but it's like if you see that function here we have written that function it is just a for loop it's just a for loop which produces so thousand means one millisecond okay so so that's where like uh, if you see value one that corresponds to 30000 so 30000 into 1 millisecond that corresponds to 30 seconds okay, 30 second delay we will give initially then i will switch off the green led then i will switch on first bit dot i 1 left shift by 1 it will become 10 zero, right 10 zero. that is this bit will be high so I will be switching on orange, then I will wait for 5 seconds. Okay. Then I will switch off orange, then I will set 2, that is red. Red for 105 seconds. It's like, like uh, 1,50,000 count, value 3 correspond to 1,50,000. That I will send and I will clear it. And then here, that one more condition I mentioned, right, in the statement that is contest for will go to green. It will still keep repeating because it is in file one. Hope you understood. Yes, sir. Because like first, it's almost like switching on LED or switching off LED. It's same as like what we had uh, discussed in the first two programs. Right? If you are not clear, you can let me know. So no, I understood. Next, actually, uh, it's a discussion of seven segment display. So seven segment display, we did it in lab and I got the output. Okay. So you want me to discuss or like uh, you're okay with this? So yeah, uh, you can uh, help me get a more clear idea. So like it was sure. So in lab experiments, it's just fun doing it, but understanding the code and knowing it is also different. Yeah. Right. So see here, you can see uh, like A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, right? So correspond and even the DP and corresponding to each segment. So if you count this segment, right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, this is not considered. The total 7 segments are there. That's why we call it as 7 segment display. And if you see here, 1, 2, 5, and 10 to uh, 6 to 10. So these are the pin numbers. And uh, basically, uh, whenever you activate particular LED, right, like for example, if I connect plus 5 volt, plus 3.3 .3 or plus 5 volt. And if I connect 7th pin ground, then this LED A will be on. So this segment will be low. And if I, for example, 10th uh, pin, I will make it down. So then G will be below. So this will be on. Right? This way, whenever, like for example, if I want to display A, then I have to glow this F, 
E G B C segment, right? Then corresponding bits I have to make low or high. But if you consider like slide, I mean, if, if you try to interface this directly, seven segment display, it requires minimum seven pin of your micro, right? Seven pin of microcontroller will be wasted, right? Yes, sir. So usually uh, we will have various ICs uh, to perform this, this operation. Like one of the ICs is 804094. Uh, so this is shift register. There will be also decoder IC, which we can using which we can actually easily by sending three values. Like if you want to glow seventh segment, you will be sending like just one one one. So it will convert this one 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 to this uh, corresponding bits and it will glow. So like if you want to glow zero segment, so you will send zero 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 one. So this way we will send like three values so now. Instead of seven bits or seven pins, we require only three pins. Right? So this way we will work around. Okay. Yes, sir. And another way you can like instead of decoder you can go for shift register so serially you will push bit by bit which you want to send and like for example like this seven bit right you will send one by one the data and clock to the shift register data and clock then that uh, segment will be blown okay so that is shift register base so So the code for this program? Yes, yes, I'll explain. So if you see here, uh, like in order, like D, P, G, F, G, e, C, G, A, okay? So if I want to glow three, okay? Then you convert this into hexadecimal. See, actually to glow this three, right? So here it will be G, here it will be uh, e, right? Correct. So, no, here it is F. F, E, correct? And F, these two segments should not glow to display three, right? That's where at those two segments, they have made it zero. Uh, that, that two segments, they have made it high. Wherever it is high, that segment will not glow. Wherever it is low, it will glow. So you can see A, B, C, D, and G, they have made it zero. That's where it will glow, right? Wherever you want to glow. For instance, like instead of uh, three, if you want to glow uh, it as eight, then you will make this F and E also zero. If you program zero, zero, then it will display eight. So here they have like, uh, I mean, how it is B zero, basically they have converted it, this to hexadecimal, right? So this is zero. And one zero one zero one zero one one that is three, right. So if they program B zero, then it is going to display three. So this way you have to decode each character, right? You have to decode and decide what character it will display. Clear? Any yes. doubts here? So no, I've already done this, so it was just like briefing out. Yeah.
So uh, I can show you another schematic, which will actually uh, it's a trick to display multiple uh, characters. Okay. So if you see here, we have these characters, right? Uh, like stroke and clock and data. So data, you see here. So it is given to first shift register. And from here, this shift register again fed to another, right? And this is shift fed to this and this is fed to this. So here, what we are doing, right? So total, each require 8 bit, 8, 8 bit, right? So instead of that, in the serial data and clock, so for example, uh, in the next program, what we are going to discuss, we are discussing like to display fire or health, okay? So the individual binary values, right? We will push one by one, serially, through this data line. And from there, like the last bit, right? So for example, if I want to display fire, so I'll start from E, I will send that 8 bit, and then that 8 bit will be fed to here, this shift register. And it's so I perform this also. Okay, okay. And I got the so, right output. Oh, great. Yes. So uh I mean, like then what we do, right? Once everything is there, then we will start the stroke so that all the fire values, right, it will be displayed. So this is actually kind of dicey uh, wheel kind of uh, application where we'll be like, so basically for the first shift principle, we're, we are feeding the data and then it will be uh, it will fed to the next shift register and then next shift register and finally it will uh, send to the last shift register, right? So in the next class, uh, we will, uh, maybe today we will pause. In the next class, we will discuss on the programming aspect, like how exactly it is done with respect to this schema. Okay. Okay, sir. So.